Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is part two of the JL Audio sub installation. Sub is in. It's not too big. Only a couple wires showing. I'm very happy with it so far. It sounds really nice. Just so you can see there's plenty of trunk space without sacrificing too much. I'm gonna bring you to the front, show you what I did in the front. I'll let you hear it and we'll go on from there. Here's how it looks on the battery area. I could have cut this, but I decided against it. This kit only requires an eight gauge wire, which is actually fairly small. It's only a 400 watt RMS amp and speaker and all that, but eight gauge wire, pretty easy to run, small. Just ran it around the battery there. Little wire tie here for the fuse. And then I'll move my JB4 out of the way. If you can see it down there, there's a, I'm trying to get the camera in there, it's hard. There's a little boot right where you see those thick stack of wires. There's a boot right there. I was able to just make a little cut. I didn't even have to drill any holes. And I ran the wire. And then I'll show you what it looks like underneath, how it comes in. Okay, now this is the boot from the underside by the, there's the gas pedals here. You work your way up. There's the main harness, and then I ran it across to follow the factory harness. It's kind of hard to show you, but do the best I can. I wire tied it, kept it nice and neat, and then came down to the kick panel right here. So now it comes down here, like any other stereo install. Down in here, these panels come out very, very easily. If I just show you, could literally not even use a tool pull it up and then then you can see the wires tucked right there that easy just pull it up same thing just keep working your way with your fingers pull it up pull this one out I didn't even need pry tools I've never had a car come apart that easily and then I'll show you some pictures how I uh, you know I had to take this car seat out obviously and then Pulled the seat down, I pulled all the carpeting out of the rear. The photo is going to show you exactly how that was run. And then we get to the back. This is my favorite part about this sub. I wanted something that was small, sounded good quality and also easy to remove these new JL subs have quick release um, tabs here so if you want to um, undo the speaker this is your high conversion right here you don't need a converter it automatically does it straight to speaker wire you just unplug it it's disconnected in this one you just pop it out this is the power in the ground the sub is removed just like that that easy then you just pull it out and it's done the sub is completely out of the car that easily it's not good for theft but if anyone's gonna steal it they're gonna steal it anyway now as far as how I I got the um, the high the high sound conversion I just tap the speakers here as you can see with these wire taps this is the right side passenger you just run across with some wire flume to make it look neat you can see it almost looks factory except for the little taps make sure when you do this tap both wires because I had a signal problem I only did one but you need to do two of the positives and two of the negatives on each tap otherwise you won't get a strong signal so I did that ran it under the carpet and that's pretty much the installation I'm gonna try to show you how it sounds the best I can and we'll go on from there I'll show you how it sounds I forgot this is how I'm holding the speaker so it doesn't move. This is just a two inch wide piece of Velcro folded in half. So it creates a little thickness so it touches the back of the seat. And basically all it does is it presses up against the seat back and it doesn't slide, it doesn't pull forward. I took a few hard turns already, so far so good. It's only my first day in testing. Worst case scenario, you know, I could add a couple strips to the bottom. That way it's a little more secure, but I'd rather just have it on the top. That way it's easier to get in and out. And so far it's working good. I got these strips at Home Depot. 
It was uh, four feet by two inches, Velcro brand. It was only uh, $9 and like 90 something cents. And I have a bunch left so I could actually put it on the bottom. But you only you only could use the, uh, the hook side, the hard side, not the soft side for this to work. The soft side is basically garbage. You won't be able to use it because the carpeting is soft and that's all. So you just gotta use the hook side. But so far that's how I'm holding the box in place. And it works really well, secures it nice and so far so good, no complaints. But it's still new so anything could happen. And let me plug the box back in. Oh yeah, and this is what it looks like unplugged. Your power wire, ground, this just pops right in. So if you ever have to like put big stuff in your trunk, anyone knows I have kids, so I put big stuff in the trunk all the time, they're toys. Just, that's it, that's all you're left with in the trunk. And that's the back end of the speaker. You have your sensitivity, this is your signal, so if you don't have RCAs, you just set it to signal, so as soon as you start pushing some sound out of the rear speakers or whatever speaker you tap into, I did the rears, it will turn the amp on automatically, frequency, you can switch it to reverse polarity so the sub works backwards and you can get the remote level on um, base knob if you want you could run that all the way to the front i don't see the need to do it for me personally but that's what that port's for so i'll plug it all back in and i'll let you hear it so this is how the sub sounds it's hard to tell but i'll show you the mirror shaking and get an idea so as you can see, this is how the sub hits, basically the mirror shakes which is a good visual indicator of how hard it's hitting, it's making everything vibrate but not too bad, it sounds nice and clean, doesn't really distort and that's pretty much it. So. And this is the sub working in the trunk. So it does hit pretty good. Obviously, it's in a trunk. Seats are folded up, so they're not, you know, because I have the kids' car seats in here. So it makes it, it, makes it a lot harder to uh, hear the bass because I have all this stuff blocking sound. But the sound comes through pretty good. If you're able to fold them down, it's going to sound even better. So I really can't complain. I'm very happy with it. And that's pretty much it. This is my uh, JL Audio Micro Sub installation. Hope you liked the video, hope you found it helpful. I think it's a good option for somebody who wants something small, compact with big sound. This is not by any means like competition stuff. If you're looking for something like that or you wanna like shake somebody's house as you're driving by, this is not for you. This hits really good for what it is. It's quality, but it's not gonna shake somebody's house. So if you have that in mind, go a different route. Don't get an all-in-one. This is a sub-amp all-in-one, makes things super easy, neat, clean, which is, that's my style. I like everything to be neat and clean, not overdone or, you know, and I like to change cars a lot. So I don't like to do real big permanent stuff to my cars. So this I could always move to another vehicle or I could sell it when I don't want it anymore or whatever I decide to do. It's not built into the car. It's not custom to this car. So guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.